checking only hemoglobin might miss hidden iron deficiency. Ferritin levels reveal the real story. Think of ferritin as your savings account. Hemoglobin shows daily transactions, but ferritin tells if you're heading towards iron bankruptcy. Ferritin is a protein that stores iron in your body. While many people focus on hemoglobin or hematocrit levels to check for anemia, ferritin can offer critical insights into whether you're truly iron deficient or have hidden issues with inflammation. When you consume iron-rich foods or take supplements, your body uses some of that iron immediately for building hemoglobin and other essential proteins. The rest gets stored in ferritin, which acts like a reservoir. If you're not getting enough iron or uh, losing more iron than you take in through heavy menstrual bleeding, poor diet and even malabsorption, your ferritin levels drop long before your hemoglobin does. And this can leave you feeling chronically tired, foggy or even prone to frequent infections, yet standard blood tests might still read normal. Ferritin can also be misleadingly high in situations where inflammation or infection is present because your body releases ferritin as an acute phase reactant. That's why doctors sometimes run additional tests such as C-reactive protein uh, to get a clearer picture. Understanding your ferritin levels helps pinpoint whether your fatigue stems from genuine iron deficiency or if there's another factor at play. By identifying low ferritin early, your doctor can intervene with dietary changes, supplements or further investigations rather than waiting until full-blown anemia sets in. So don't settle for half the story. Checking with your doctor ferritin levels give the big picture on iron status, ensuring you catch and correct deficiency before they derail your well-being.